friends welcome back to my channel how we can test crystal oscillator and how we can determine its resonant frequency in my last video I explained a uh, simplest method using 7404 IC in this video I will use oscilloscope and function generator first I will set 1 kilohertz frequency and 5 volts it is 4.8 volt peak to peak 1 kilohertz if we need we can adjust voltage from this amplitude knob now this is function generator and this one oscilloscope we will connect one end of this crystal oscillator to oscilloscope the second side we will connect to function generator you can use any function generator or any signal generator signal generator range must be above then this crystal oscillator frequency we applied 5 volt signal with series connection to this crystal oscillator but this time it is just only 240 millivolts why because we are applying 1 kilohertz and here we have 4.193 megahertz so this crystal oscillator is damping its frequency so we will move to closer frequency 4 megahertz the voltage level 174 millivolt Frequ now we will increase the frequency 4.03 Zero 09 when it will reach to closer range the amplitude of the signal will increase now it is 254 millivolt now 4.18 4.19 52 millivolt now if i will set to 4.2 the amplitude will damp again 4.19 and now I will move to lower digit 4.192 amplitude is 1.24 volt I will change 4.193 the amplitude is 6.72 volt okay 4.193 megahertz okay let's do it 4.29 and we will see that level that frequency when the voltage will decrease 4.1932 30 at 30 voltage are 6.72 if you will make 29 5.28 and if you will make 31 the voltage are stable now we will move to lower digit now 30 when the frequency is 4.19300 6.32 volts I will move one step 301 6.48 0 0.19303 it is 6.72 6 0 0.8 3097.04 3 1 1 6 point volt voltage dropped 4.19310 we will move the next digit 3 when I will make 104 the amplitude will drop so now this is the level 
if you will increase the volt frequency the voltage will drop so this is the exact resonant frequency of this crystal oscillator 4.193105 megahertz in this way we can verify the crystal oscillator when the generator frequency and crystal oscillator frequency will match it will go in resonant so amplitude will increase when there is mismatching frequency the amplitude will drop i hope this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please write in the comments thanks for watching